Hi guys, this is North Sleeve coming at you on uh, Sunday, August 5th, 2018. Uh, back for another update. If you would like to know what's going on, stick around, we'll be right back. Hey everybody, it's North Sleeve, Sunday, August 5th, 2018. Uh, just giving you an update. Um, things are going good. I went to my uh, doctor this weekend, or this week, for my uh, three month checkup. And uh, things were good. My weight at the doctor's office was 279. Uh, my weight this morning actually was 277. So that's good, that's a couple pounds down. Um, when I was at the doctor, they gave me some stats. My well, let's give I'll give you my stats right now. My original stats were my high weight was uh, 354 pounds. I'm six foot two. I went on a two-week uh, pre-op diet from April 8th to April 20th, and in that time, I lost 21 pounds. My surgery date of April 20th, I was 333 pounds. Today I am 277 pounds, which is a loss completely from which I use April 8th is uh, 77 pounds. Had a little discrepancy when I was at the doctor because they, they say I've lost 79.4 pounds. I'm not really sure where they got that from or how they got that figure, but uh, I guess I'll go with it. I'm not going to complain. You know, that's darn near 80 pounds, so that's, that's pretty good. But uh, one of the things that I was amazed with when I was in there is they gave me my stats from when I was first in there, my BMI, and then my current BMI. And uh, my BMI when I first went to the doctor was 45.7, which obviously is you know morbidly obese, I would assume. And uh, my BMI as of right now is 36.3. So that is a huge change and uh, makes me pretty proud. I'm, I'm proud of that. Uh, I'm feeling good, um, no issues, eating good, uh, trying to watch everything I eat with all the carbs and the protein and making sure I get my veggies and my fruit in every day. Uh, I'm still drinking the uh, protein shakes and all is good. Uh, I'm just over two weeks out on my hip surgery. Uh, the hip surgery is going good. I'm still going to be out for probably another week uh, of work. The doctors don't want to let me go back quite yet. Um, all the pain is gone from the arthritis I had in there and the bone on bone and the bone spurs that were inside my hips. So uh, that is absolutely wonderful. Um, I could start, I could pretty much walk normal already. Um, you know, some movement is a little bit uh, kind of uh, got to be real slow and stuff because I got quite a big scar on, the, on my hip or, you know, my thigh area where they cut me open and did the surgery. But that's to be expected. It takes a while for your incision to heal, and I expect that just like when I had my other hip replaced, it was the same thing. So, um, but other than that, uh, all is well. Um, I do not have any complaints. I'm uh, real happy with my surgeon and the work that she did. I had the same surgeon replace both of my hips. And uh, now I'm just waiting to heal and to come back and. Uh, be able to do a lot of things that I haven't been able to do for quite a few years, so it, I'm uh, I'm real excited about it. Uh, back to the VSG. Um, like I say, I'm happy with my results. Uh, I'm still losing weight. Uh, I thought I'd be losing weight a little quicker than I am, but uh, you know, she, my nurse that I went and saw for my uh, three-month appointment at the at the uh, the doctor's office was more than ecstatic about how I've lost weight and the inches that I've lost because they took measurements of your hips and your waist and all that and uh, I've gone down a lot of sizes in, in, in both those areas and they were real impressed. Um, she told me to just keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, she said obviously I'm following the rules because not everybody loses as much weight as I have in this amount of time which uh, I think you know a lot of people actually lose more and I'm sure there are some that don't lose as much but uh, so that made me feel good. I, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the results I have. Uh, it, it's just so bizarre on uh, changing your eating habits and, and how you learn or how I've learned to uh, eat better foods and not eat the um, junk food and the fatty um, processed foods that I used to eat. You know, I haven't even touched a slice of pizza since prior to April 8th. And, uh, you know, back in the old days or up till that time, I think I probably ate pizza four to five times a week. So 
Uh, that is one thing I miss, but uh, as you all know, it's just something you don't want to eat. You can eat some of it, I guess, but I just, I've just i stayed away from it so far, and uh, so far so good. Uh, I'm learning to make new things and uh, just enjoying life and, uh, you know, the change of life and um, dealing with all the things that you have to. Um, again, one of the most important things is getting your head on straight and uh, having your mind uh, work with you in this process instead of against you is one of the hardest things, um, which I've talked about in the last video and a couple of videos before that and stuff too. So it's just uh, it's just a learning process. I'm still, you know, I consider myself at the beginning. I, I guess three months really isn't at the beginning, but. Um, I still consider myself at the beginning of it. I, uh, I got lots to learn yet and uh, I just can't wait to keep seeing the pounds drop off and to uh, become healthier and especially with my uh, hip surgery and uh, being able to walk normal again and uh, you know life is going to be good. So I, I don't really have anything else that's real important to talk to um, today. Um, I've just been hanging out around the house doing little bits of things here a little bit of uh, yard work I can do when I'm out walking around I, you know, I work real slow because I can't you know move or do too much bending with a big incision on your hip but uh, Everything else is going good. I have no complaints uh, Life is good and it's just getting better and it, it's just amazing when you're in my shoes to see yourself getting skinnier because you've been big so long that uh, especially going to the store I just went to the store yesterday and bought a couple pair of shorts and uh, it's just amazing that I, I the smaller size I've gone into that I never thought I'd ever see again and, and it really makes a person feel good and I'm sure many of you that, are, that have had this if you know that are watching this uh, can understand that feeling and those of you coming up behind um, you won't know that feeling until you have it but I'll tell you what once you have the surgery it's the best decision you ever made and once you start losing weight and getting that positive feeling and seeing the inches come off your body, it's the most wonderful feeling you could ever have. So I am uh, just totally excited about my whole process. So anyways, I'll keep this one short. Uh, I really don't have anything else to important to talk about. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I will uh, give you, I'll step back here and give you a couple uh, side images. You can see how how I've trimmed down a little bit and you can uh, you know see for yourself how I've lost a lot of my stomach big time it's like wow it's just like disappearing and it is so bizarre to look at but anyways I will uh, let you go at that and um, I'll show you a little couple side views here and uh, hope you all enjoy the rest of this weekend and uh, take care Norse leave is out bye bye